Well, finally made it back to my cabin. Feels amazing to be here again. It's starting to feel like home. I just need some more folks to come out and join me. So what I'm doing right now is setting up this little stove and I'm gonna lay a small concrete slab under there because my floor is very uneven. It's just bedrock. And then cut a hole in the wall to let that pipe through. Just laid this little cement slab for the stove. And next step is just to cut that hole in the wall, add a metal stove jack, and we'll fire her up. Even though it's nice and sunny out here today, it must be in the 60s from the high, it's a lot colder than that. Good wind is howling. Getting guessed today at up to 60 miles an hour, and my little cabin has survived up to 110 mile an hour gusts, so it felt pretty solid. But I'll show you guys, I got this stove jack installed. It's a metal with a hole cut through it, and I got the pipe coming out there. I'm gonna take a look on the inside. I just had the stove set on this plywood now so I can kind of get the measurements right but you can see how it's going through that stove jack and then once that concrete is totally cured I'll go ahead and fire that stove up it's about 4 30 in the morning it's a little chilly in here and concrete is pretty well set so I've got the little stove on it and a little pot of water. So let's fire it up and see how it works. Now I've got a couple of precautions to take with this new stove, especially since this cabin is much more tightly enclosed than my tent. And it's my first time using it. <laughs> so I've got a little carbon monoxide alarm. And right next to me, I've got a full fire extinguisher. Also, I do have a vent up here at the top of the cabin. It's always open. It's never a good idea to bolt the door when you got the stove running. It's also a good idea to crack it just a bit. Seems to be burning pretty nicely. And we got a nice pot of hot water for coffee. Oh yeah, I would say that was a wild success.